We're in Orville, Ohio, and joining me is Larry Orr. And Larry, first of all, I want to find out about this bean field. Not necessarily the beans at this point, but you did some work on this field early in the spring, putting in tile. What makes this tile different, and what's the purpose behind it? Well, we've got 20-foot spacing here, and we have hit water control structures, so we're holding the water back into the fields. So when you say a water control structure, you're actually controlling the ability of the water and how much water you hold back in the pipes. Yes, we can adjust the depth according to the root system of the plant so that they can get to the water and utilize all the moisture that's in the field. Now, would you say most of this area is suffering from a drought like the rest of the state, or how would you describe this overall area? Most definitely drought, yes. So how is it we pull up a sample from 20 inches down that's still fully wet? Because we're able to retain that moisture into the field where the plants can utilize it instead of letting it go to the creek. And the soybeans actually grow deeper and looking for that moisture then? Yes, yeah, we, we're holding the water level at about 24 inches so the roots will sense that and they'll grow after that moisture. So how many inches of water are you holding back? What did we figure were in those control systems? Uh, we're holding back about uh, 18 inches of water. And it didn't take much. We take out one little gate and the water shot right out. Yeah, and there's a safety factor built into that. If we would get a heavy storm situation and we get a bunch of water, it would go over the, the boards in there so that we wouldn't flood the field. It would drain it naturally then. Right, yeah. Now, you ran this field the tile lengthways, so you've only got three structures of the length of a half mile field. That's correct, yeah. Everything's on a tenth grade. And you say the tile are 20 feet apart? Yes, 20 foot spacings in this soil because it's a Luray soil, very tight soil, poorly drained. Now, the only cost difference between somebody's normal tile field, if they're putting in 20 to start with, which a lot in Ohio would be 40, but if they're going to 20, is the cost of the structure, right? That's correct, yes. So to make this field really work, give the beans lots of moisture, even on a drought year, what kind of additional investment do we have on this size field? We got about $1,000 per structure, or three structures, $3,000 and 35 acres here. That seems like a no-brainer. Why isn't everybody doing it? That's a real good question. <laughs> well, maybe the idea that you look at beans that uh, won't get harvested until somewhere around the first week of October, that uh, the shortest area and legitimate ground is 40 inches, the tallest stuff's closer to 53. We're only in the uh, first week of August, so they're still blooming, putting on pods and filling, and a great opportunity. Of course, we'll have to come back and tell you more about what they actually yield later on. Larry, with today's concern when it comes to nutrient runoff, one of the advantages that we talked about is the ability for you to actually hold water in the field with the structures while you put nutrients on so that they don't go anywhere. I think that's a big plus, especially in Wayne County here where we have all these dairy operations and so forth. We can close the gates and hold that water, or the nutrients in other words, back in the soil through the winter months and keep it from going to the creek. Ohio State's doing a lot of research on that and Louie's from the forerunner of that situation here. There you go. So even environmental benefits to this structured water system.